18 when it all broke off. 18 and I went on natural. February 2002, I went on and did what I had to do. Because it was time to change my life. To become the woman that I am inside. 97 dreadlocks. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Talia Marie. And to start off this amazing twist out we're going to be doing today, I'm just going to section off a piece of my hair from the back and let's ignore how bad my kitchen looks today well it always looks like that and if you don't know what a kitchen is it's the back of my neck the hair on the back of my neck so we're going to start off with some water straight from wakanda itself and then we're going to go to the shea moisture restoration conditioner it's also a leave-in conditioner so that's why i'm using it today and then the major key is the Urban Hydration Avocado and Argan Oil Coconut Oil Curling Defining Gel. Ooh, that was a mouthful. So when you brush your hair, make sure you brush from the ends to the roots so there's less shedding. And then you apply the defining gel. This is really the key to get your hair defined. Like I have 4C hair, it's a harder texture to define when it comes to twist outs. So just like water, um, conditioner based, like feel touch type of products, they don't work for my hair to help define it. So this defining gel really gets those curls popping if you know what I mean so now I'm just gonna flat twist my hair down and I don't really know how to explain how to flat twist down like I had to teach myself because I don't know how to cornrow so I guess just watch if you can see what I'm doing without my hands getting in the way too much but yeah, it's kind of hard to explain how to flat twist. So once I'm done flat twisting the hair down, the end part becomes a braid. So I split the two strands into three and I braid the hair down to the ends. And then once I'm at the ends, I get a little bit more of that Shea Moisture Conditioner and I just apply it to the ends and twist that end around my finger and we are fini. So if you can see here, the braiding pattern that I'm using is I start the twist on one side of my head and then the next twist ends up on the other side of my head. This is how you help elongate the curls by flat twisting it down and by going different directions each twist because the side that you start on is longer than the side that the braid is gonna end on. So if you do that side to side, it'll elongate itself.
this is also another major key of how to elongate the curls so when you get to the part of your hair that starts at your ears you want to section that off from ear to ear so you can twist from one side all the way to the other because the side that you start to twist on that's going to really elongate that side and make the curls longer so that is definitely a major key i do not suggest skipping this step Boy, if you don't... So now we are going to slay these edges. Matter of fact, we're going to slaughter them. And so what I do is I take a little bit of my leave-in conditioner from Shea Moisture and I apply it to my edges first just to like put some protection to it, you know, just kind of, you know, help them flourish even more. The little edges that I did pull out to try to lay down. And I'm going to take this hard um, edge control, not Eco Styler Gel because that crap does not work for my edges. But I'm going to use this edge control and apply it to my baby hairs. And then I'm just going to take like a, a stocking cap and I'm just going to wrap it around my edges to protect it. And so now this is also another major key is you want to bobby pin all your braids down because that's going to help them stay elongated overnight and not shrink up. And if you have like hair that... Um, get shrinkage really fast, I suggest doing bobby pinning the braids down as you go instead of waiting till the end. So the next morning, all I do is take my headscarf off. And then I just start untwisting and unbraiding all the twists and braids and make sure when you are untwisting it that you're not like raking through the curls as you go let the curls fall on their own and just to show you a little close up here like I'm just unraveling the twist at the root I'm not raking through the curls because if you do that then that's just gonna mess up the curls that we worked so hard to get All right guys, so that is it on how I get my defined and elongated curls. They really do make a difference and I mean, they just make you look sha poppin. Like who doesn't want to look sha poppin? So before I go, I know you thought I probably forgot because this is a voiceover instead of me actually talking, but I just have one more question before I go. But are you subscribed though? Drops, drop top, smoking on cooking a hot bus.